Hi, I'm John Edwards. Hi, I'm Paula Garcia. Uh, we're senior designers for Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, and today we're going to be talking about super moves and pro moves and how they affect the gameplay uh, in our upcoming title. One thing that's um, always been special about Mortal Kombat, it's one of the few 3D games that um, focuses a lot on special moves, where a lot of the other 3D fighters are more hand-to-hand -hand based. Our game is a lot of magic and other stuff you can do in it. Yeah, a lot of games that are out there right now, you know, they don't have things like projectiles, teleports, stuff like that. Our gameplay really is kind of built around not only the fighting styles themselves, but how we can utilize these super moves, put them into combos, especially now with our newest game. Super moves and the pro moves that we'll be talking about later really influence how the gameplay plays out. Like Scorpion, one of everybody's favorite moves with him has always been the spear, because when you hit somebody with the spear, it pulls the guy in, and then you get to him with the combo. And then he also has a teleport move, which you can use as a more defensive getaway type move. In this game, we're actually trying to use these super moves more in the actual gameplay, in the combos themselves, so they're not kind of standalone attacks. Yeah, and the combos you can do, you can pretty much make them up as you go along. We don't put any kind of restrictions on a player. You can pretty much do any punch, any kick, and then go right into any special move. Something else that we've been trying to do is take some of the classic super moves from past MK titles, like uh, Katana's back in this game. She's one of my favorite characters back in MK2. We really wanted to get her to kind of feel more like the MK2 character, because she was like one of the more combo-heavy people. Uh, so she has like her classic uh, fan toss, the air fan, uh, things like that. And they will actually hold you in the air so you can continue like jump kicks afterwards. And we've also given them a, a good amount of new moves to older characters. Like Sub-Zero's got a new teleport he can do, because we felt that he was a good defensive character, but he also needs some way to get around the, the arenas a lot easier. We have probably a lot more super moves, I would guess, per character in this title than in the past. Everyone has at least, I think, five, five or six super moves. We're trying to focus on how each individual super move not only worked separately, but how they worked together to make a character feel complete. Shang Tsung's got his old fireballs back, he's got a fireball to the ground that pops you up, and he's got a soul steel move. So we pretty much combined all the moves he's had in the past. Uh, yeah, and you can like work them all together. So you can throw multiple fireballs, chain that into the soul steel, get some life back, have that teleport away uh, so you can't be retaliated against. It really, I think it really works well in this, uh, it's a fun experience. And also on top of that, DMDC characters have moves that you expect them to have. Superman's got his heat vision move, he's got a, the freeze bath, all, all, all the moves you'd expect them to have. We work really close with DC, obviously, on this title, and we wanted to make sure that all the DC characters were kind of represented faithfully. So a lot of the super move designs we would come up with, you know, we'd say, oh, Batman, you know, we want him to have this. We'd send it off to DC, they would say, oh, you know, it'd be a little bit cool if he does this, be more per brand, if, you know, if Batman does this kind of move instead. So we got a lot of really cool ideas from the DC guys as well. Yeah, like um, Flash uses his super speed for almost all the special moves. It really, like, gives the, uh, the DC Comics flavor to all the characters. I think they all feel pretty authentic. Another one of the things that we're really excited about in Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe following super moves is what we're calling uh, pro moves. But basically they're like extensions of the normal super moves. For the pro player basically, the inputs form a little bit more difficult, the timing is a little bit tighter. And not in all cases. Some cases like Sonya has her classic ring shot from uh, all the past Mortal Kombats. You can actually do that one twice in a row to shoot two fireballs out. But it's actually probably one of the easier ones. We've tried to skew the more difficult ones to ones that give you more reward. So the uh, Sonya ring one doesn't really give you like a huge reward. Whereas, like, some of the other more difficult ones do. Sonya's got her normal leg grab where it just grabs a guy and then hits him on the ground that does a good amount of life. If a player can time it so he hits the right button combination, when the other guy hits the ground, you can actually get a pop-up reaction from it, and that allows you to get a combo string from that move. It's not all just things that, you know, add extra damage. Some of the stuff also is, like you could throw a, a missile with Lex Luthor, and you can chain that directly through the pro move system into like his escape, his boot escape thing. So basically it essentially gives you a free fireball that people can't retaliate against. So we really want to try to be creative with those things. And, and some of them will, will, will just add simple, more damage to your moves. Like Superman's got his heat vision move, but uh, um, if when the heat vision connects, you sit there and can mash all the buttons fast enough, you can actually extend it to be like five hits. They're not all the same inputs. Like, uh, like Paul was saying, there's like mash ones, there's ones where you just hold the button down uh, to certain time, and there's ones that are actually more difficult, which are completely, you know, new motions with a D-pad and a button input that all have to be input within like a very small window. We wanted in um, this game for um, players to um, take longer to master a character. Like you're going to pick up the game, you're going to learn to play Superman. But then after a few days, you're going to learn, hey, I can do this move here. Every time I drop on the guy, I can tap the buttons twice and I can pop the guy up afterwards. Especially like for like online games, it should be really cool. Just pulling these things off in a combo and during a match even is a very exciting thing. And people realize that they're very hard to do. And so when you do them, it's kind of like that extra little bit of, uh, you know, look how, you know, look how awesome I am. Yeah, you can be able to show off to people pretty well with these pro moves. A lot of these pro moves can be chained into multiple versions of themselves. So it's not just this pro move has one thing you can do out of it. Uh, some of them you can actually chain together and make little mini combos just out of the pro move. Well, whenever you're playing against somebody, um, you're actually going to be able to tell when they do a pro move to you because you're going to hear a unique pro move sound and there's this particle effect that goes along with it. 
it comes. The good thing about seeing these things visually and hearing them with a the sound is that if someone has to do it to you when you're playing an online match or the AI does one, you'll actually know that that is a pro move. And so even though you might not know the inputs, do it yourself, you'll know that it exists. So then you can actually go into the game and experiment and find it yourself. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe comes out in stores in November? Uh, yeah, we're excited uh, to have you guys get your hands on the game and try a lot of these super moves and pro moves out for yourself. Uh, we hope to see you online. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.